like to show you a couple of things that you can do to help improve your programming and the way that your code looks. You can see I have code in here. It's formatted OK, but there is actually a command in Optana where you can go to Source, hit Format, and it will stagger everything so it is ideally formatted. I recommend doing that before you upload things. It makes it easier for humans to read. Now once you have uploaded, and in Firefox, I'm going to recommend that you check your work. And I want to show you how I do this when I'm grading it. So we're going to take a quick look at my table-based site here. And I'm going to right-click and view page source. Now, in Dreamweaver, if or, or, I'm sorry, in Firefox, if there's any errors, it will show up in red. This is actually orange, but I'm, I typically go in and check for errors here. And I know I've got an error in one of my projects. I don't have a lot of errors, but I've got a stray tag somewhere. And I know it's around here somewhere. Here we go. I have an extra stray tag. You can see that that's in red. And so you should check in Firefox and look for errors that show up in red. Because that's what tells me that I that you have an error. It's my quick way that I'm checking to see if you have errors. I don't mark off points for all errors, but I do if there's something significant. A common error I'm seeing is that people don't remember to close the head tag after the style sheet. The style sheet should be completely enclosed within the head tags if it's being used. That I'd take off points for. A stray closing tag I typically ignore. But you should be checking in Firefox after you upload it, if you go into your own code and view the source, any typos should show up in red. Now notice red is a different shade than the non-breaking space here, which is actually orange. This is not an error. This is. So I do recommend that you check all of your work um, before you actually hand in your link.